All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I wanted to go through Battlegrounds a little bit in terms of how I have been using it to my advantage, even without going for, I'm not in a competitive alliance at the moment, and without using Elder's Marks at all, I have not spent a cent towards Battlegrounds, but I have picked up over four. I've picked up to, at the moment forty-five thousand six-star shards from battlegrounds, and I can still finish up to. I I should be able to get up to almost. Uh, I could I could in theory get up to like fifty-seven thousand six-star shards from this month and every season of battlegrounds. Now, number one, in order to let's just take a look quickly. If we look at the Battlegrounds solo event, you need to use Elder's Marks and you get a total of um, 15,000 six star shards as your reward. And you might get, uh, you know, depending on where you finish, you'll get some more six star uh, sh uh, shards for rank rewards. In order to do that with Elder's Marks, not energy, you would have to get uh, 1250 for a win. 800 for a loss. If we look uh, at how many points you would need, you would need 300,000 points. That is 240 battleground wins with Elder's Marks, and that is, or 375 losses with Elder's Marks in order to get this. And you are going to need, if you need that, like you are not going to come close to getting the Elder's Marks you need without using units to buy Elder's Marks. So if you ignore that, and and the same with the um, Alliance event, if you don't, uh, again, you need everybody in your Alliance to be doing that, it, it's not, it's not gonna be pretty, okay? So what I have been doing is ignoring that completely and focusing just on the Battlegrounds store. So I've been collecting six star shards. Now the rewards here are, you have five star shards, you have six star shards, five star six stones, six star six stones, T2 Alpha, T5B, some T5 class Kala selectors. The T3A and T6B are here, but they are quite uh, expensive at 10,000 a pop, but it's possible to, to get a couple of those throughout the month. And then some T4 class cast selectors. Now, I'm getting the, the, like the T2A, the T5B. I can get that from Glory. Even though I'm not doing a high-level uh, AQ, I'm still getting enough Glory that I could use it on there. But what I'm doing is six-star shards. These six-star shards, the limit resets every seven days. So there are going to be... If the season is 28 days or like about a month, you will have four weeks of 15,000 six-star shards that you can get, which is 60,000 six-star shards. I've already maxed it out three times. So that's 45,000 six-star shards. And in three days, I will be able to start uh, getting some more. So how am I doing that? So if you go into Battlegrounds, and you go, you work your way up the victory track. You need uh, to win every time you string together a few wins. In bronze, you only have to string two wins together to move up to uh, bronze two, bronze one, another two, and then you move on to silver. Then it's uh, silver three, two, and one. You need to string together three wins, and you can see that you get trophy tokens each time. So, in Bronze, it's 600, like 300, 300, then it's another 1800, then it's another 3600, then it's another 4300, uh, then 33, 39, 45, and finally six. You can get 30,000 trophy tokens just by slowly working your way up the victory track. Okay, you don't even have to worry about the gladiator circuit. Just taking the month, going slowly, let the let the big accounts make their way through first and then you come in afterwards and you go through the victory track. If you go through it, 
um, you will get the trophy tokens and you can use them to get those six star shards. But if 30,000 is not going to get you 60,000 or uh, um, you won't have enough for 60,000, you know, uh, but there's another uh, place where we can get stuff, which is battlegrounds. There's an objective every that lasts for every two days for 650 trophy tokens. If it lasts for 28 days, that means there's 14 of them. If you do your mat, your five wins towards the victory circuit, when that objective is up, which is what I've been doing, you'll get another 650. And with that extra 650, it'll give you a total of 9,100 potentially. That means you could get um, uh, 39,100 trophy tokens which would give you approximately 57,000 six-star shards from Battlegrounds. So, uh, what I, so that is what I've been doing. Now, you could use it towards the other rank-up materials, but I have not been killing myself trying to get, like, string these wins together. But, you're, you know, but it's also, you, I was saying before, 240 wins to get 15,000 six-star shards. Surely... This must be <laughs> just as many. No, this is simple. That you need to win in the only 47 wins to get um, all these uh, trophy tokens, to get the 30,000. Now, 47, it, it is going to take you more fights than 47 to get there because you have to string wins together. You need to get at least... Three in a like you start off with two in a row, then you have to start winning three in a row, and then eventually in platinum you're gonna have to, uh, sorry in diamond, diamond one you're gonna have to win four in a row, and in the final vibranium you need to win five in a row, which I haven't done yet, but you uh, so you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some, you might win two, lose one, win three, lose one, you're gonna have to string together those three uh, like a few wins in a row in order to do it so it's going to take more than 47 wins but a lot less than 240 wins and then including the um, extra matchups that you might have to do over the month uh, for the objectives that would get you to maybe 70 wins over the course of the month um, as opposed to um, as opposed to again 240 or 375 losses so it 70 wins is not uh crazy and i should be able to finish off um you know in the next uh you know when the next objective comes around right uh when the next uh, objective comes around tomorrow then i will try and do five more wins hopefully i'll finish up uh vibranium uh, and then I don't even have to worry about the gladiator circuit. I don't have to worry about elders marks. I don't have to worry about that at all. And all, and it'll just help me build up my um, uh, stash of six star shards. So I'm up to two hundred and thirty thousand six star shards, and I've picked up forty five thousand of them this month just from battlegrounds. So. There's still uh, time left. If you didn't max out your, your um, you know, if you didn't max out these six star shards and that's something that you want to go for or whatever you're looking at, don't worry. You should be able to hold on to your, um, uh, right, your trophy tokens for, like, these should stay here. So when the next season of Battlegrounds uh, resets, you'll just be uh, able to pick up, you'll, you know, you you won't get capped at, at less than 60,000. You'll probably be able to get the full 60,000 uh, six-star shards. So hopefully that uh, tidbit will help you out. That's what I've been doing. That's made Battlegrounds a lot more uh, fun for me with uh, knowing that I can get a ton of rewards without having to worry about um, the, uh, the solo events or the alliance events or the elders' marks. So see you in the next one, guys. Hope that helped. Bye.